Hey, this is David from TheUnlocker.com. Today we're going to show you how to load a custom ROM onto your already rooted uh, HTC Magic. Um, if you're not there already, go to our site, TheUnlocker.com, spelled like that, and search for the how to load a custom ROM video for the HTC Magic. Once you get to our site, if you haven't already rooted your HTC Magic, uh, you're going to need to do that first. So search for our how to root your HTC Magic video. Okay, before you begin, you um, should root your HTC Magic if you haven't already done so. Um, if you're on our site, theunlocker.com, we have a link to our other video right here. Um, do that procedure first, and then once you've rooted, you can come back to this one. Um, once you root it without any issues, you're going to find a ROM that you want to use. Uh, we have an Android ROM section on our site if you click on the link. Uh, make sure that you look at the ROM closely and it says HTC Magic and then a, a motherboard number next to it. Uh, if you have, uh, and you should know what motherboard you have from the rooting procedure, but if you have the 32A motherboard, make sure you only use a ROM that's for 32A. If you have the 32B, make sure you only use a ROM for 32B. Um, once you've done that and you've saved the ROM to your computer that you want, you can continue with the step. Okay. Once you've downloaded the ROM to your computer that you want, you're going to plug your phone in uh, with it on. Hold down the USB thing and click mount. This way you can put the ROM on the SD card. Okay, the ROM we're going to put on there is the Hero ROM, uh, the latest one at the time of this video, considering this is probably what most people are going to put on. So we're going to grab it from our computer, put it onto our SD card, and wait for it to transfer over. While it's doing that, if you have any other update.zips on the computer, you're going to want to delete those. So right click it, delete. Okay, so this way this is the only one on there. Okay, once it's done transferring to the SD card, we're going to right click it, rename it to update, and then we're going to unplug the phone. Okay, so once the ROM you want is on here uh, on the SD card and you've renamed it to update.zip, unplug the USB cable, wait for it to prepare the SD card. Okay, then we're going to turn off the phone. We turn the phone back on by holding down the power and the back button. So we see fast boot on the screen. Then we're going to plug the phone in. Now it should say fast boot USB. Now that the phone is plugged in, it says fast boot USB on the screen. We are going to open our start menu and type into our search field CMD and hit enter. Should give us our DOS prompt. Okay, now in the DOS prompt, we're gonna type CD backslash. And now we're gonna type CD space Android SDK slash tools slash and hit enter. Um, and remember that what we're typing in here, uh, we're assuming that you've done our root process and you have named files a certain way. So if you haven't done that, you might want to go back and just do our root process um, if you use some other way to root. Now once you have this, okay, so now the next step is to type fast boot space devices. And hit enter. And you should see a serial number with the word fast boot behind it. That means that your device is connected properly. If you don't, you need to go back to our root process and make sure that you've completed it and you've put in the right USB drivers and all that good stuff. Um, so after you've done that, after you've done that, you're going to type in fast boot space boot space Dell droid. You're going to type in fast boot boot. Daldroid hyphen recovery dot img. Hit enter. That should tell you downloading boot, everything's okay and okay. Now the phone should reboot. Once it does, you should have this recovery screen. Now when the phone reboots, it should come to this uh, recovery screen. You're going to scroll down with the trackball and click apply SD update. And it should begin to install the update. Okay, once it's done applying the update, Dot zip, you're going to see install from SD card complete. We are going to push the trackball down on the home and back reboot phone now. Okay, when you're done, the phone should reboot 
and start up at the uh, setup screen. Go through the setup. Okay, when you're done doing the setup, you should be to your ROM. Now, uh, first thing you probably want to do, open up the menu. Um, if your ROM has this built in, click Market Enabler. Then click Settings List and choose whichever one of these companies is you. And that's it, you're all set.